okay so previous class uh, we have uh, studied uh, like the ansible variable and handlers and uh, the ansible loop and ansible condition okay so today we will see uh, the ansible debug okay so uh, this ansible debug uh, is like a um, something to print something means uh, suppose uh, in uh, you want to uh, check you want to check the log of your uh, node server okay uh, so this command is very useful in the ansible debug hmm. so uh, this uh, uh, this module of ansible debug uh, suppose you want to check the uh, log of any any application is in, uh, running in your node machine so uh, by this uh, module you can easily uh, capture the uh, logs or any anything from your uh, uh, node machine any data okay so let's uh, start with the ansible uh, debug ansible debug is a module in ansible that allow you to print okay basically it's print print the debug message during the playbook execution it's uh, useful for uh, troubleshooting and understanding the uh, various of the uh, of your playbooks the debug module can be print vari variable values uh, tax result or any other custom message uh, your specific so here uh, you can see there is a uh, basic uh, uh, debug playbook structure like uh, host is demo become is s and connection is SSS connection uh, and tax is uh, you can see here the tax is display uh, suppose uh, let me edit this one display OS version okay suppose it display the OS version so it's display the uh, our node uh, node machine OS version okay so how we will check this is the cell command okay you already have uh, known to check the uh, OS version okay so slash etc slash os release if you you will use this command in any linux machine it will show the os details okay so in this debug module is uh, how you will use this okay just execute the cell command okay in your node machine then whatever data uh, will come okay will come uh, it store in the registry it store in the registry with this name uh, service underscore log underscore output okay then it's a debug it's use the debug module and var var it store in this place okay store in this name so that's why it has written this one okay dot studio dot uh, underscore line means it will show in a line format hmm. so uh, i think you understood this thing it's just uh, suppose it's a cat command it's a print uh, something okay it's print something and it's stored in this place that is uh, this place uh, uh, server underscore log underscore output then it will just print this this uh, print this is stored uh, store this uh, name and print uh, when we will execute this uh, debug module uh, bar underscore uh, bar colon this uh, store location or store name means uh, server uh, underscore log underscore output dot sttdo out underscore line okay so it will display the node machine os release version okay so i think you understood let's uh, do the demo or you have any doubt you can ask me hello no sir okay so let's uh, is it just a minute
first we have to create a yaml file sudo vi debug.yml press enter insert and copy this playbook and paste it here okay and uh, save it then how we will execute the playbook the command is ansible hyphen playbook and the playbook name and press enter okay you can see this one hmm. so uh, first what will happen it's uh, gather the fact this fact gather the fact and uh, okay everything is okay hmm. and change to one and debug debug also okay hmm. uh, debug okay you can see first axis what you can see the playbook first where is the playbook okay so first axis uh, display the os version first it uh, change means the cat command execute in the our node machine then save in save in this path or uh, in this name and just debug this path and it will show like this you can see name is the amazon linux version this version okay Hmm. So everything, OS details, uh, everything is shown here. Okay. So this is the uh, debug command. Okay. And it will many times also ask this, uh, uh, what do you mean by debug? Uh, where you can use this? So, so basically it's used, suppose uh, in your node uh, machine, the Nginx is running. Okay. So you have to just... Uh, uh, pass the log path here okay in this uh, uh, cell means the cat command you have to just pass the log path hmm, where your log is uh, stored just uh, uh, pass the log file path then it automatically uh, display the output means the uh, debug debug the output okay so this is the uh, ansible debug let's go to the most important thing ansible volt okay this is the very important thing hmm. interviewer also many times asks this question what do you mean by ansible volt and it's a advanced version of ansible hmm. so uh, it's a feature of advanced feature of ansible okay so ansible volt is a feature of ansible that allow you user to encrypt the sensitive information such as password API key and other secret data within the Ansible playbook uh, or variables file. Uh, this help in uh, secure storing and managing the sensitive data within the Ansible project. Okay, so it's a uh, keep the sensitive data like password, API key, and other secret data in this playbook okay so how ansible bolt work so uh, ansible bolt work uh, ansible bolt use uh, strong encryption algorithm that is the aes256 to encrypt the sensitive data when you encrypt a file using the ansible bolt it prompt you to provide a password first okay this password is used to encrypt and decrypt the content of the file then encryption with the playbook and variables ansible bolt can be seamlessly integrated to the ansible playbook and uh, variable files encrypt the file can have any format uh, supported by ansible such as yaml or json you can encrypt the entire file or a specific variable within the files okay then let's see the command for working with the ansible fold the first command is create how to create a, uh, an encrypted file this command is used to create a new encrypt file it uh, promotes you to uh, enter, uh, enter and uh, confirm a password for 
uh, it's from uh, prompt you means uh, uh, when you will execute this command okay when you will execute this command uh, it will prompt you to give the password hmm. so let's first execute this command okay um, just copy this one okay and uh, go to the my master machine okay and uh, paste it here Let's just give the uh, playbook file name suppose i am giving git.yml i want to install the git in in my node server uh, so what basically this command uh, the ansible hyphen bold uh, and create this command create a file okay with encrypted this is this file will be encrypted suppose i press enter you can see it's uh, prompt me the uh, new bold password so i will give any uh, password for this uh, file that is the git.yaml suppose i am giving one two three four five okay and press enter again uh, it will ask for the confirmation one two three four five press enter okay and you can write anything suppose i am uh, i want to install the git so uh, okay just copy this one okay and paste it here So this command is uh, okay. So uh, if I will do the uh, if I will want to uh, go inside the file, okay. So can you tell me what is the command? You can see. Let me okay. You can see there is a true file hmm. and uh, the just I have uh, created this one. Okay, git dot yaml. So can you please tell me how uh, I will go to this uh, file? What is the Linux command to uh, see the file content or go go inside the file? Hello. You can say in like cat or uh, otherwise bi. Bi command. Okay. So let me do first the cat. Cat. You can see. I have written uh, the what uh, the uh, git command uh, inside uh, uh, git or I think HTTPD or anything uh, to install in um, in my node server. Uh, but it uh, will uh, it has already encrypted. Uh, no one no one can see the what is inside the file. Okay. If I will also do the vi it you can see this one it's encrypted it, it's also uh, you can you can see the ansible gold and this encryption hmm. aes256 i have already told you this thing. aes456 okay hmm. so it's encrypted and quit this one okay then go to the next command let's see how to edit this one okay suppose uh, i have written anything uh, and i want to edit this one then this is the command ansible bold edit ansible bold edit and the file name okay press enter it will again uh, from to the password what is the password one two three four five press enter you can see this content okay Suppose I want to edit this one like uh, from uh, HTTPD, uh, just write the, I, am, I want to install the git here, okay, then just, just save it, okay, and uh, if I will go for the next command, hmm, that is the view command, okay, 
so this command is used to view the uh, content of an encrypted file uh, without uh, describing or uh, modifying okay so uh, the evap command means the edit command is used to edit something but is this is the uh, only the view command only you want to view and uh, it, it it is only view the content of the your yaml file okay you cannot edit this view command and e, okay if i will to press enter it will prompt me the password one two three four five press enter okay you can just see this content okay you can see the just content but you can not edit this content by edit command of ansible you can edit this one this is the first view command okay and one is the next is the entry this command is used to encrypt an existing uh, <coughs> sorry <coughs> encrypt an existing uh, plain text file okay it uh, uh, prompt you to enter uh, enter and uh, confirm a uh, password for your encryption okay suppose you have already a yaml file or any any file uh, you want to encrypt this one uh, then how we will do here you can see we have two files okay the one is the debug.yaml and another one is the git.yaml the debug.yaml suppose i will give cat to debug.yaml uh, it's not encrypted and we can see the content okay so suppose you want to encrypt the debug.yaml file then we can use this command okay copy this one hmm. paste it here and give the file name hey, press enter it will again prompt you the new bold password suppose i am giving the one two three four five six this time i am giving one two three four five six press enter again one two three four five six press enter okay what will happen okay so what it uh, so actually the permission error okay so you can see this one why it is permission error you can see because you can see um, this is the root user okay so this is the root user uh, uh, the file is debug debug file is created in a root user you can see this is the permission to root user so uh, the uh, this is the uh, ec2 user so it will not allow to do this uh, uh, do modification or anything it's not allowed but the uh, git.yaml uh, it's a ec2 user that's why it's uh, allow to edit something uh, can do any operation so if i will do the sudo replace yeah, i think it will again not work okay let's see first okay this working fine One, two, three, four, five, six. Press enter. Okay. Encryption successful. Okay. So if I will do cat. Okay. If I will do cat debug permission deny. Suppose let me do sudo debug dot I am sudo cat. Sorry, sudo cat okay it will encrypt you can see this is encrypted okay so again uh, go to the next command hmm. so <clears throat> suppose you have encrypt eh, and you want to decrypt that file how we will do by this command ansible decrypt okay 
so copy this one and uh, let me do the sudo sudo this command and the file name press enter it will again ask you the password one two three four five six press enter decryption successful if i will do cat debug press enter okay permission deny sudo cat okay sudo cat debug again you can see the file content okay so this uh, in this way we just encrypt that file and when we will do uh, when i i have uh, used this command uh, it will encrypt it okay you can see this is encrypted and when again i will decrypt it and we can see this file content okay so let's go to the another command that is the rekey means uh, rekey this this command is used to change the password okay if you want to change someone suppose you uh, you suppose you uh, want to change the password hmm. so, so that time you, you will use this command okay so let me use this command copy this one hmm. and uh, paste it here and uh, again using the git dot yaml it will give me the value okay so one two three four five okay new again it's a old first it will ask the old one uh, old old password then it will ask me the new old password so but i'm giving the new password is one two three four five six press enter confirmation one two three four five six okay re uh, re key successful means the password is changed successful okay so so uh, then uh, we have set everything means uh, we have uh, uh, like uh, encrypt our playbook okay so we have encrypt our playbook then if i will execute this playbook okay then how we will execute this playbook suppose let me uh, execute first and we can see what difficulty we will face if you will encrypt or use the ansible port let me use uh, ansible ansible hyphen playbook and the playbook name and press enter okay you can see error attempt to decrypt but no gold secret found okay if you will use a normal ansible uh, execution command okay you can see this is the uh, ansible execution command like ansible hyphen playbook uh, and the uh, playbook name this is the uh, execution command for to execute the file execute the ansible file in the node machine okay so how you will execute if this file is encrypted okay for that you have to use um, just this command hyphen hyphen hex hyphen hold pass press enter it will ask the password uh, then password is one two three four five six press enter then the playbook will execute okay now okay you can see the httpd okay not http is installed the git actually i have changed uh, okay so this is the all about the bolt okay so basically bolt is used not for this actually okay means uh, not for uh, like uh, to uh, encrypt your uh, yaml file like playbook okay basically we uh, we used for the keep the secret thing look suppose the secret thing is uh, our uh, um, uh, uh, suppose let me explain the scenario uh, suppose we have stored the artifact 
uh, artifact in in the S3 bucket, and you you want to deploy this uh, uh, artifact to your uh, node machine, and inside the node machine, the Tomcat server is running. Uh, so uh, you will use this uh, by the playbook. Okay, so for that you have to pass the credential in your playbook means the uh, aws secret key and secret access key so you can use this secret key and secret access key in a encrypted format that is the ansible fork okay so we will see this when we will do the uh, end to end project uh, end to end project ci cd project using the ansible that time uh, you will see how we can uh, actually encrypt the uh, password means the uh, secret key and secret access key and uh, that time you can uh, draw a clear image in your mind okay uh, and okay so hmm. so this is the complete uh, uh, actually the whole thing and uh, one another the advanced thing also is there in the ansible board that is uh, what happens suppose uh, you are using the uh, in your own machine okay in your own system then when you will uh, like uh, create any uh, anything like uh, create uh, any uh, volt uh, uh, any volt file means uh, ansible volt uh, create and the file name it's always asks you the password and when you will execute the ansible playbook again you have to give uh, uh, give this command okay again you have to give this command and it will also ask the password then after the playbook will execute okay so you want to just um, what uh, you want to just keep your data means keep your sensitive uh, password uh, in a file and uh, um, when uh, and when you will execute the bold command it will not ask you again and again because you are using your own system okay uh, so it's just uh, save it uh, save in particular location of your uh, system and when you will execute uh, uh, any playbook or uh, um, ansible bolt uh, any command it will not ask the password again and again so this thing we will see now okay so how we set up this thing <coughs> okay so first you have to uh, what uh, configure the ansible.config file so in previous version the ansible.config file is already present uh, when you will install but in new version we have to manually create this thing so just copy this command and sudo uh, vi you can see this uh, slash etc slash ansible and ansible config this file will create it in this path okay and press enter and edit this one and just copy this content and i will explain it. okay just paste it okay so this is the default path what is the default path the bold underscore password and underscore file we will save this we will save the password okay bold password in this location actually uh, what is the location home slash uh, ec2 hyphen user slash with a uh, dot bold underscore password dot means the hidden file we have to create this file okay and let me save this one okay so pwd uh, i am in the right uh, path that is the slash home slash uh, ec2 uh, hyphen user let me use uh, sudo hmm, sudo vi and the file name the file name is okay let me do this okay right. so this is the file name dot bold dot so uh, what we uh, do it will uh, create a dot bold underscore pass means why we are using dot because dot means you uh, can you tell me why miss dot when we create this dot uh, 
high means dot volt underscore pass then what will happen hello 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 okay so it will create a hidden folder okay sorry hidden file let me give uh, any password hmm. suppose i am giving one two three four okay and save this one save this one okay so it will save it will save in this uh, location okay if i will do this uh, cat it can confirm cat press enter okay so the default mm, so default uh, password uh, underscore file and this is the uh, you have uh, stored this file mm, in this uh, in this path okay and uh, if i will do ls hyphen l you cannot see this file because it's a hidden file if i will do ls hyphen la you can see it. where is this file mm, dot port you can see this file okay okay now let me <laughs> create a ansible bold file okay now let me create a ansible bold file copy this one and paste it here uh, in this time suppose i am uh, give the file name httpd dot yml can you tell me if I will do press enter, it will prompt me a password or not? Okay, hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes. So if I will press enter, then what will happen? It will open a text editor or or um, prompt me a give a password. Mm. Ansible go hyphen bold create the file name. No, it's create means. Uh, uh, can you can you get my question? My question is, if I will press enter, then what will happen? Means uh, there is two option. Uh, it will uh, open the text editor. The this is the first, and the second thing is it will prompt me a. Uh, give a password. Yeah. What? What? Okay. My question is, uh, if I will uh, execute this command, means uh, ansible hyphen bold create and the file name that is uh, httpd dot yaml and uh, press enter, then what will happen? There is two scenario I am giving. The first scenario is it will automatically open the uh, text editor. Okay, and the second scenario will be uh, it will uh, uh, it will ask me the money it will prompt me the uh, give a password. Mm. I think text editor is so like yes, text right. editor like right, right. file created. Oh no. yes, yes. The default file it will take the password from the default file. Okay, I have just uh, configured mm. in the ansible dot config file. Eh? So let's see. You can see it will not ask me, means it will not prompt me the give a password. Hmm. So insert and uh, If I will do the cat, cat httpd, it encrypted. Okay, you can see it encrypted. If I will do the like uh, edit, if I will do edit, it will edit. It will not ask me the password. Okay, you can see this. Yes. Hmm. So because you see, because uh, <coughs> you are using your own laptop. Okay. 
why so why we will uh, like do the one again and again um, give the password uh, uh, so it's a better you have to use this one uh, and uh, you can uh, easily easily edit your password also how you will edit the password simply go to the sudo vi uh, dot uh, dot bold sorry what will the file name dot bold password just edit this one uh, and automatically it will edit okay so you can see the password and uh, this is the hidden file you can give any name i am just giving the bold underscore pass you can give any name uh, so no one can see your password it's uh, depend upon you uh, you can store this uh, file in anywhere uh, okay in any location anywhere and just keep the uh, file uh, path yeah okay just keep the file path then it will okay let me execute the playbook uh, let's see uh, whether it will ask me anything or not so and simple i can playbook okay HTTPT, okay, press enter. Okay, it will not ask me the password. Okay, now change one. HTTPD is installed. So this is all about for today's class, and uh, next class we will go to the Ansible rule. Okay, Ansible rule means the Ansible Galaxy. Uh, we will see the Ansible Galaxy how we can. Uh, use this Ansible Galaxy. Hmm. Then this is the second Ansible. This is, a, uh, okay. uh, this is the. I think we will take to finish this Ansible within two class. Okay. Then when the Ansible Galaxy will finish, then we will go for the uh, one project. Okay. One project uh, that is the complete CI/CD project hmm. using the Ansible. How we can use. Continuous deployment. Uh, you will see this. 